Second Ezra is four and twenty three. For it was not my mind to be curious of the thi of the high things, but of such as pass by us daily. Namely, wherefore Israel is given up as a reproach to the heathen, and for what cause the people whom thou hast loved is given over to ungodly nations, and why the law of our forefathers is brought to naught, and the written covenants come to none effect. And we pass away out of the world as grasshoppers, and our life is astonishment and fear, and we are not worthy to obtain mercy. What will he then do unto his name whereby we are called? Of these things have I asked. Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel, for the world hasteth fast to pass away, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come for this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities but as concerning concerning the things whereof thou askest me i will tell thee for the evil is sown but the destruction thereof is not yet come okay so that's verse 28 Let's see what we got Twenty-eight. All right. Verse twenty-nine and thirty. Now it's gonna get real juicy. It says, "If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good." For the grain of evil seed hath been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning, and how much ungodliness hath been brought up unto this time, and how much shall it yet bring forth until the time of threshing come? So once again, therefore that which is sown be not turned if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. We go to Isaiah chapter 29, all right, verse 16. It says, matter of fact, I'll start at 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh, and their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? Who is this? The so-called white man. The one that is ruling the world right now. This is Esau. All right. And we're living in these things right now, man. All right. Things being turned upside down. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? Okay. This is exactly what is going on, man. This is what we're living in, man. Shit being out of order like a motherfucker, man. Gotta deal with these goddamn piece of shit niggas, man. And these wicked ass damn people, man. Day in and day out. For the grain of evil seed hath been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning. And how much ungodliness hath it brought up unto this time? And how much shall it yet bring forth until the time of threshing come? That time of threshing is the thermonuclear fire, the destruction of America, the destruction of all this goddamn wickedness, man. Ponder now by thyself, and how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed have brought forth. And when the ears shall be cut down, which are without number, how great a floor shall they fill? Then I answered and said, How and when shall these things come to pass? Wherefore are our years few and evil? Wherefore are years few and evil? Yeah, Job 14 and 1. Man that is born of a woman is full of trouble and his days are short, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Read Job. Damn. Read Job, the uh, 14th chapter and the first verse. 